Hi, today we're going to be doing the roller placement section of the state board exam. So you're going to be doing three different types of rollers. You're going to be doing an on base, a half off base, and an off base roller placement. You will need curler clips, sectioning clips, an all purpose comb with a tail, and some water. Your mannequin is going to be placed as such, making a mohawk parting. You're going to tip the mannequin's head back and using the roller itself, measuring off how wide of a section you should take from the mohawk sectioning. My first group of hair that I'm gonna pull up is going to wrap around the roller and this is going to be placed on the head in an on base roller placement. What that means is the entire width of the roller is going to sit in a subsection that is exactly the size of the roller itself. We push it in and clip it on both sides, the left and the right. As you look through the roller, you will see that it is sitting directly in between the roller's placement. The next section we take will be measured off again from the roller the width of the roller is the width of the section. This roller will be placed in a half off base placement, meaning that you will see half the distance of the roller in the base section away from the roller itself. I will show you what that means in a minute. I am rolling the hair down and placing it with two clips into the subsection that I've already created by distancing the roller. If you look at the roller from the side, the area from here to here would equal half the area from here to here. And that's considered half off base. The last roller is off base. Again, taking a section the same width as the roller, but now I'm over directing my combing procedure back towards my face, and this will create a completely off base curl, which will result in a very loose curl pattern at the end of the hairdo. As I roll it, I'm being careful to roll it down, over directing the hair in such a fashion that I will have a full roller's length distance away from the other roller. I pin it in the front and I pin it in the back and as you can see, the full distance of this roller is created right here. On base, half off base, off base roller placement. And there you have it. Not that easy, but with a little bit of practice, you could do a great job.